Imagine a beautiful scenery, luscious food, and culture beyond any of your past experiences. It'll take a 12-hour flight to get this experience, but it's well worth it. You may be asking what this magical land is, and what makes this land so magical. Well, I'll tell you, my friend, for this land is Asia. And in this speech, I'm going to tell you all about it by explaining the exotic animals, ferocious wars, and extravagant art. From slithering, to slinking, to crawling, to everything in between. The animals in Asia are very exotic, and I've gotten to learn more about them from EnchantedLearning.com. Some animals are wild, some tame. Some, like the pug, for instance, who is a loyal, affectionate dog that was bred in Asia. It was bred to be a companion dog, but it soon became a common household pet, and it actually has been around for over 400 years. Another animal that has been around for a while, but isn't anymore, was the woolly rhino. It was a large Ice Age mammal that lived in Eurasia. It had very shaggy fur, and it was surprisingly preserved when we found the species in ice. A bigger part of the cat family also lives here. The Bengal tiger is a species found in Asia. It comes from India and has grown in population. One Bengal tiger has lived up to 18 years in captivity, and free ones live much longer. Explosions, arrows, flying everywhere, and swords swinging and slashing. Without this, Asia would not be the way it is today. And with AsianHistory.com, I could share it with you. Like multiple wars, for instance. The Battle of Badr, that took place in 624 CE, was a pretty small war, and not a lot of people knew about it. This war also signaled Islam's expansion. Another war that took place in 331 BC was the Battle of Guagamea. This war is also known as Arbella, and this battle signified the rise of conquest of Alexander the Great. The Battle of Talus was the most recent battle at 751 AD. Little is known about this war, but it was very pivotal for the Tang Dynasty. Steady, steady, steady. And that's literally all Asian artists say, because their art is amazing, but difficult at the same time. The greatest part of the culture in Asia is art. Calligraphy was a base part of writing, and it's very odd, for it's written in square patterns and up and down. Sculpt ah, sculptures are a huge part of the culture. You, all, you almost won't go to one building that doesn't have a statue of some kind. Most statues have a deeper meaning, but some are just cool to look at. The next art form is a form that has been mastered over millions of years. Painting. There are many types of painting that take intricate hand motions, focus, and concentration. Fan painting is a beautiful form of art that keeps you cool, too. You take a fold-out fan and paint beautiful pictures on them. Some examples are flowers, birds, and wars. But who said it all had to be old? 3D chalk painting is coming into play. And if you've ever seen those big murals on the sidewalk that look like you're going to fall in, well, that's 3D art chalk, and it's amazing. So, if you can't tell, Asia is a beautiful place, and continues to be today. From animals, to wars, to art. Very different topics that all include one thing. Also, who knows, you could do something later today that could have been started in Asian culture.